Welcome back. Our next guest has been covering Donald Trump for decades and has a new opinion piece for Bloomberg about how Trump Tower and Mar-a-Lago are bookends of the former president's chaotic journey from New York's driver to Florida man. Tim O'Brien writes in part this. Nobody else, really, absolutely nobody, has journeyed from outer borough developer to Manhattan tabloid fixture to marital basket case and punchline, to TV star and entrepreneurial guru, to social media conspiracy theorists, to U.S. president, to insurrectionist and authoritarian avatar. Nobody. And therein lies a tale. Joining us now, senior executive editor for Bloomberg Opinion and MSNBC legal analyst, Tim O'Brien, who has indeed covered Donald Trump for a long time and very closely. Tim, great to see you this morning. Um, tell, Hi, us a little, tell us a little bit more, if you will, about this remarkable, singular American journey that Donald Trump has taken. I mean, I think, you know, inarguably, Trump is the, is the biggest political figure of the 21st century, bar none. And he got there in the most unpredictable of ways, and it really... I don't think, you know, people are familiar broadly with, obviously, his journey, but... It struck me uh, when he came to Manhattan the night before his arraignment, he, he stayed briefly in Trump Tower, got arraigned, got charged with a crime for the first time in his life, and, and then departed back to Mar-a-Lago. And Trump Tower has always been this signature trophy property for him. It was his first great real estate success. It marked this departure from... Uh, I think the sort of uh, agency of his father, you know, he was really created by his father in many ways. And Trump Tower was his own project. He prided himself on it. And and during the, you know, all of the, the notoriety and debt he built up in the decade following the Trump Towers, Trump Towers opening, he bought Mar-a-Lago. And, and, and they're really bookends of his journey because you, Donald Trump in many ways is a quintessential New Yorker, a certain type of New Yorker, a huckster, a, a media beacon, uh, and, and someone who saw himself as an ambassador for the city. And he and his family now have really largely departed from New York, John. They don't, I don't think they identify with it in the way they once did. And I think Trump now sees himself as a Floridian in everything I think that entails mm -hmm. in the political era we're in. So, Tim, you know him well and spent time with him. You know, it's sort of the reporting suggests this sort of mixed response right now. Understandably, a fear of 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 arraignment, of indictment, of arrest. And yet also this this bluster, thinking that it could be helpful, at least to his short term <clears throat> political prospects. What are your observations as to what we're seeing from Trump right now as he does enter a new phase in his life, that of someone charged with a crime? Well, it's it's very early game here. You know, I I'm of the opinion that that Alvin Bragg's case is among the most slender ones lodged against him. Um, there, there there's a lot of arguments on either side of this about whether or not he should have brought that case. But the reality is, you know, I think there's four um, there's you know there's three cases in the works against him: a civil case in the state of New York for for fraud, a criminal electoral fraud probe in Georgia, in addition to this criminal fraud probe in New York, and then two investigations within the DOJ that could really uh, present, I think, nightmarish consequences for him. And he's in the middle of a rape trial. And, and I think all of this weighs on him. And, and, and so when we think about Trump and the law, the Bragg case is, is really the opening chapter. Donald Trump is going to be wrapped up in very serious legal litigation, uh, court litigation, for for years probably now, with consequences for his business, his reputation, and possibly his freedom, as well as his ability to run for office. MSNBC legal analyst Tim O'Brien, such great insights this morning. We really appreciate it. We would love to Thanks, have John. you back soon to talk more about it.